<laughs> All right, we're ready to chazer. You want to turn on the air? What's Molly smoking in you? Oh, it's Bobby's challah. Oh. <laughs> okay, ready to chazer? Ready? I want, I want, what I miss? What I miss? I just don't I want to I, miss. <laughs> I don't know. It's Sorry, no, you missed it. Come earlier next time. That's right. You, that's right. You also missed. I forgot. Mine. I thought I was early. It's nine twenty. I forgot you started at nine. Sorry, you missed it. <laughs> Okay. So I didn't miss learning. learning. That's the most important thing. I missed there you learning. go. There you go. Jacob, we're still starting tomorrow at 6 o'clock? That's, that's yeah, yeah. Why not? Okay, because starting to earlier already a little bit. Ah. Ah, these people that dominate a minion make such headaches. Five to six. <laughs> five to six. We're going to start five to six? I'm fine with that. Five to six. Perfect. What time, are the, what time are the minchas? 6.35 Is it minchas 6.30? Oh. Is it minchas 6.30? 6.35 is it every week now? Just make it 5.30 already. I don't know if the guys who, uh, I don't know, the working guys, are gonna, it might be too early. Where's Peretz? Peretz. 5 to 6. 5 to 6. And, and the rest of the summer, the, the nights, does, does earlier work for the oil or does the other one still keep it at this time? I, I'm okay with earlier, by the way. This I think nine, is good. nine is good because this 10 o'clock Marav is a... Uh, is, well, is how would you know? When was the last time ready you were in tonight. Marav? Tully Landau, I'll sit and talk to you the whole night if you want. Nice. Not a Just, chance. Let's go slow. That's all. <laughs> I, I, was, um, I told Jesse he spilled the beans. I didn't want to let anybody know that I died with my ready. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I removed the post. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Anyway, Jacob, I just want to go on record and uh, just remember what time did we originally start this stuff? Nine fifteen. Nine fifteen. No. Nope. Nine forty-five. Yep. Eight. Nine forty-five or ten o'clock. Remember? I would vaguely. I would. So uh, yeah, let's just say uh, let's keep it later than, than earlier. Right here. My opinion. I have no problem late. I would do later. I would 945 is great, but the problem is the 10 o'clock tomorrow. We run out of time and then we're rushing through it. <laughs> Landa, we don't want you to miss any part of the daf. Exactly. Or your couch. <laughs> bed, yeah, bed. Yeah. All bed. right, let's go. Um, who's got my phone? I need my phone. Wait, so okay, so the chaza from yesterday. Um... Uh, where is it? Hold on. I did post it, right? Okay, top to Fulamaral. Yeah, Kulamar. I'm not carrying something in a mobile if there's no mobile. If there's no there's no A roof. I wrote mobile. There's no A roof. Um We say that the preparations for Shtea Lechem, Oimer, Lulav, Sukkah, Shaifer, and Matzah can all be done on Shabbos according to the Rebbe Right again. Shtei Alechem, the Oimer, Lulav, Sukkah, Shoifer, and Matzah. The things that can't be done were Tzitzis and Mezuzah. Right? That's what we said. You can't do Tzitzis and Mezuzah. And then on our base, how do you know that all the above could be on Shabbos? And the Gemara repeats itself. So now we're on the bottom. We're on the bottom of Kuf, Lamed, Aleph, on the base. Um, Omar right, Now we get into the basics of why a bris or if a bris is uh Shabbos or not, right? In the bottom, Kuflam and Aleph on the base, Omar Bar. Yeah? Are we on Kuflam and Aleph or Lamed on the base? Kuflam and Aleph on the base, no? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay, so Omar Mar. The reason why Omar Mar is in parentheses is because this is not a classic. Omar, Omar Mar is normally... Omar Mar is normally um, a repeat of what was just said. This is not. This is the Mishnah. This is the Mishnah, right? Mila and all its all its machshirin, all its preparations are all its preparations are 
Daifus Shabbos. Dibur Rebbe Lozer. Minol Dibur Rebbe Lozer. How does Rebbe Lozer know? Imikulu Gomar. Right. If he learns it out um, from all of these that we just got finished saying, Kedam Rina. Right. Then it's like we said. Each one has a reason why you can't learn out from it. Boy, Malahanoch Shekain Im Abar Zman Abotlo. All these things, if the Zman is, it passes, right? The Zman of Lulav, the Zman of Shoifer, if it passes, it's bottle. But bris, bris you could do on the ninth day. You're not supposed to. It's not L'Chathila, but L'Maisi, you could do the bris on the ninth day. Yeah? Elo, hainu time in the Rabbi Lazar, the Amar Krova, Yoyim HaShmini, Yoyim El Basar HaLosoy. It says on the eighth day, you should be mal, the Basar of his Arlov. I feel the Shabbos, so we like Darshan out of that, it's even on Shabbos. So then the Gemara says, "Lift the Ramana b'mila b'leisu hana kolivamine." Good. So now let's go the other way on it, right? So let's learn. Let's learn out all these other things: shayfar, lulav, oimer, shtei alechem. Let's learn that all out from mila. So Gemara says, "Mishum deikel lemifra," because you have a kash on that. Malam mila shekain nifusir ole shalosh shloish esri brisas. There were thirteen brisas that were said to Avram Avinu. About Mila, so therefore something very chashiv about Mila. Therefore, that's why we would think it's Daicha Shabbos, right? But everything else is not as chashiv as Mila, so therefore it's not Daicha Shabbos. That's what you would think. So therefore, we need separately move them for everything. Okay. Siakov, don't we? Rashi brings down that the that the actual dichoy of Mila itself is from a lachol It's very interesting. The Gemara is saying that the pasuk of Yerim Shmini. That's that's extra, and that's teaching us that the machshire are are going are, are, are going to be daich hashabbos. Correct. That's but right, we that's we the alok l'meshim sinai. So well, we're like, going to the Gemara is going to discuss it. The Gemara is going to discuss is it alok l'meshim sinai or not. Yeah, right, we'll I, see. I'm well, just, like, just bringing from Rashi that it seems like it is, and 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 yet the Gemara is bringing a, a drasha for the machshire without the alok l'meshim sinai <laughs> on top of the alok l'meshim sinai. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so you're right, you're right. Rashi is mashma like that. You're right. Rashi is mashma that the, mash, the mashirin are from the Pasuk and the, that the Mila itself is from Allah Lamash Mishina, which, what are you saying? It sounds a little backwards? It's, yeah, it's a little backwards in that way. Like, it's a funny thing that the, the Torah is teaching us also it's mashira. Oh, what about the actual, the actual Mila? That's from Allah Lamash Mishina. Yeah, so let's see how that fits into the Gemara Vaita. So that's a The Rabbanon only disagree with Rabbi Eliezer by the preparations for the Mila. But everybody holds that the bris itself is Daich Shabbos. Right? So how do we know? Ula says, Allah Lamesh Bissina. And Rabbi Yitzhak also says, Allah Lamesh Bissina. Right? So that's where Rashi's coming from. Here it's saying Allah, clearly the Gemara right now is saying it's Allah from Hashem Yisinai. So then what's the, the Mashireh was the Pasuk before? The Pasuk before was going Mashireh, but you're right, it's an interesting thing. But we're going to, let's see, by the Meisve, Minayin the Pikuach Nefesh Adoich HaShabbos. How do we know that Pikuach Nefesh Adoich HaShabbos? Rabbi Lezben Azar Yoyim, Rama Mila Shi Achas Meyavar Shalada. Mila is one of the limbs of a, of a person. And Doich HaShabbos, and to fix the Mila. And of course, Pikuach Nevesh, which is the entire body, of course, that will be Doich HaShavis. So now, what's the Kasha? If you think that's Allah Lamesh Misinai, Kavachaymer, Me Allah, Me Asi, can we learn out a Kavachaymer from Allah Lamesh Misinai? You can only learn out a Kavachaymer from a mitzvah that's said in the Torah. You can't learn out a Kavachaymer from Allah Lamesh Misinai. Why? But Tanya. Right? Some say it's Ben Azariah, some say Rebbe Lozer. Akiva, yeah, etzem kisa'ira metama halacha. The etzem, the bone, this is talking about for a, uh, what do you call it, a nazir, right? So a nazir is not allowed to become tummy, right? Um, and, well, he's not allowed to do a bunch of things. One of the things he's not allowed to do is, is tummy. So how much how much makes him tummy? So etzem kisayra metame halacha that an etz a bone in order to be metame is going to be the side size of a barley, right? That's halacha. Let me show you. Let me see. dam. If he touches a revias of dam, yeah, is is kavachaymer. 
Rav is a kava from from uh, from uh, from etzim kisayim. They ain't done a kava chaimer melacha. We don't darshan out a kava chaimer from melacha. So you see very clear that we can't darshan out a kava chaimer melacha. So how can you darshan out that um, pikuach nefesh? We darshan out as a kava chaimer from mila. If Mila is is a halach l'mayshim misina, you're learning out a kavah chaim. Halach l'mayshim misina. So El Amar Rabbi Lazar, Asya Ois Ois. It says it's Ois Ois. So what do we learn out from that? Shabbos is an Ois and Bris is an Ois. So therefore, just like by Shabbos, um, um, you can be di- right. So well, it's not just like, but we're learning out that since they're both Oises, some Mela. You uh, are going to be able to do a bris. Elameata, tefillin, the chsiba, and ois, lipti shavas. So tefillin that says ois, you should also be taich of shavas, right? Meaning put on tefillin on shavas. Elo, elo, asya, bris, bris. It's actually a good question. What is pshat in that? What is pshat in the Gemara's kasha, lipti shavas? The only reason we don't is because it's an ois. Well, that's why you don't need it. Yeah, but that's why we don't wear tefillin. And it's only mukta because we don't wear it. What does it mean? Yeah, so, then what's that? So, then how do you, so then how do you understand the bris? Why make, if Shabbos is an ice, why do I need to make a bris on Shabbos? Yeah. Two different kinds of bris ice. What? But it's, I'm saying, Two different, if different kinds ice, of ices, sorry. No, you're saying, what I mean? So, so, so same thing with One's the tefillin, One's an ice though. for Claudia one's a personal ice. I'll be so then what are you saying? What? So we're filling on Shabbos. You have a personal voice. Put no. Filling is, put on it, put on is not a personal voice. Put on filling in your closet Shabbos morning. You have a personal voice. No. It's not a personal voice. Filling it is, is understood like nobody, Shabbos. Nobody else saw you wearing it. You put it on well, in That's your irrelevant. Closet. So what's that? So not the, I, thought you asked me, I thought you were going to ask a different kasha. What's the issue of putting on filling on Shabbos? Uh, that's right. what yeah, I was what, asking. What is it? What's the grace answer? That's what I was asking. Why is it Lidhi? So Lakhaira, Lakhaira, it's not going on putting on the tefillin. maybe it's before I'm making the tefillin. No? You can make the tefillin. No, because no, because the bris mila is doichish. Amen. Bris mila is doichish abbas the divrei hakoil. Correct. Shire Mila is only according to Rabbi Yezu. So this so would be a, the same question. Oh, you can ask that the Divrei Rabbi Yezu, but the Divrei of the Rabbanon. What are you going to say? What does Lidki Shabbos mean? This is a kasha according to the Rabbanon also. I hear. If it's if it's if we're saying it's the making of the tefillin, so what exact? So we're asking if 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 it's Dochah Shabbos yeah. to make tefillin. Yeah, you can make tefillin on Shabbos. Why would I want to wait, make tefillin on Shabbos? Why not wait till Sunday? I don't know. Maybe you work on Sunday. Got a day off on Shabbos. I don't know. No. I, I mean, I don't know. And this I, is specifically when you're 13. The day you become 13, bar mitzvah. You can't, you and after that, you have. You it. can't even leave work off for chalamoy. So much less leaving work off for Shabbos. But also, this so this is not when you're 27. This is when you're when you're 13 years old. The first Shabbos, the first Shabbos of your after your bar mitzvah. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. That would be the first. I don't know either. That would be the first mitzvah. I mean, that that but that's what we're talking about here. We're talking about the first Shabbos after your bar mitzvah. Well, yeah, that, you need a new pair of tefillin, or if you're a cipher and you want to make tefillin on Shabbos. No? The first, the, the first mitzvah wouldn't be sfira or benching. It would be making tefillin. That would be your first mitzvah. Yeah, I don't know. you're right. And a chanami, and a chanami. That's what the now agav. Once we're on the subject of ice. Right, so the halacha is is that when you buy a bris, you're supposed to. As we're talking about mila, so since tefillin is an ice and bris is an ice, you're supposed to keep your tefillin on till after the bris, which is the minig of Yisrael is clearly not like that, right? So, um, but the halacha is very clear that the tefillin should stay on till the bris. And Ramosha writes, it's well, interesting that. What are you saying? See, it used to be in the old days, six months ago, you got me and Shia who kept, kept that filling on. <laughs> okay, I looks like I did something good in my life. <laughs> but, uh, um, 
Rav Moshe writes is interesting because he says until the baby, the baby doesn't have his ice, right? You keep on your tefillin as an ice for the baby till the baby has the bris. Now the baby has his ice. Now you take off your tefillin, right? So the fee that, you know, people always ask, can I take the tefillin off after the bris or have to wait for the naming? The chayra, according to that, you just take it off after the actual bris. Like this, you can be ready to charge to the bagel without having to, to wait to take off your tefillin. Right? <laughs> okay. Anyway, so so that's what I'm saying. So Elamiata Tfilin the Sivan Ois Lutri Shabbos. Ella ask you bris bris. So then it says bris bris. So then Godel the Sibbe bris Lutri Shabbos. So a godel meaning somebody over bar mitzvah. If somebody's over bar mitzvah did not have a bris, so it's not doy for Shabbos. Well really it's it's um it's really gonna be anybody but oh after eighth day, but uh but right now, the Gemara is saying a godel over bar mitzvah certainly is not doy for Shabbos. But it says so. You bris. should wait another day without a bris. You should wait another day till Sunday. You have to. Yeah, yeah. You're saying wait a minute, you went you went so long without a bris. You should. I go mean, now now sees the moment. I mean, you're ready yeah, yeah. to do it. And now you say <laughs> no. Wait, wait another day. You got yeah, enochanam. Yeah, enochanam. Right. So little Shabbos. I'll ask you, Doris, Doris. So we learn now from generations to generations. So tzitzis the sit be Doris little Shabbos. Tzitzis should also be doy for Shabbos. So now, what does that mean, Gersh? The chayr, the making of the tzitzis, no? The chayr here means the making of the tzitzis. Unless you are brisk and you don't want to... Uh, right. Uh, yeah. That is mitzvah tzitzis, vasita. I guess. Well, I would learn more pshat that this is a riot to the briskers that don't wear the tzitzis right. on the street on Shabbos. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, Tiyaka, right. they do yeah. bring down that the Gemara is asking, according to the Rabban, even according to the Rabbanan who hold that that normally we don't uh, allow machshira on Shabbos for tzitzis and tefillin. We should allow for machshira. The Rishonim learn like what? you. The Rishonim learn like you that the Gemara is talking about the machshira when it comes to the Gzeir Shabbos, even according to the Rabbah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. In places where you can't apply to the actual mitzvah, like tzitzis and and tefillin. Right. I hear. I hear. <laughs> okay, so very good. Thank you. So Ella asks you, Taurus, Taurus. Tzitzis, Tzitzis, Taurus, Luke, Luke, Shabbos. So Tzitzis should be Taurus, Shabbos. Ella, Amar, Rav Nachman, Rav Yitzchok, Don and Ois, Bris, Vidairos, May Ois, Bris, Vidairos. We're going to take all three. Anything that has Ois and Bris and Dairos, those words, that's what we're going to learn out. La Chuke Hanuch, the Chad Chad Hud, the Sibet. Excluding all these, that only says one of them. So meaning only things that say Bris, um, Ois, that have a ice and a bris and dairis, those are the ones that are doy for Shabbos. You have Rabbi Yochan and Omar. And Rabbi Yochan, it says, Omar Kro, Biyoyim, it says, Dere Nye Dei, Biyoyim Afilu B'Shabbos. It means the day and even it's on Shabbos. Omar Lirish Lokesh, Rabbi Yochan, on Elo Miyatu Mekhsur, Mekhsur Kaparo, Yechsibu B'Yoyim, Hochanami D'Dochu Shabbos. Somebody who's Mekhsur Kaparo, that's somebody who became Tomei, right? So they got to wait for seven clean days, and then on the eighth day, they bring a carbon, right? So, if that's the case, it says be yoyim. So if that's so, does that mean since it says they have to bring a carbon during the day, does that mean that they should bring um, the carbon on Shabbos too? We know that only carbon sibur is, is a brought on Shabbos, not a carbon yochid. This is a carbon yochid, right? So again, elamiata mechusre kapara the sibu be yoyim hachanami the dochus Shabbos. They should also be dochus Shabbos. They say homi boyle be yoyim v'loy belayla. No, that needs that yoyim. We need to tell you to bring the carbon during the day, not at night. So the Gemara says, Hi, Nami, boy, be yoyim, be lila. So by bris, we also need be yoyim to tell you that you do a bris during the day, not at night. So, Ahumi ben shmoinas yomim nafko. That we learn out from ben shmoinas yomim nafko. So, Hi, Nami, be yoyim, be yoyim, be yoyim, be nafko. Here also it says, be yoyim, be right? That's right. It says, be yoyim, 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 the Yoim Veloy Velayla, meaning you also have another Pasuk. So, Afagav Denaf of the Yoim Tzivsa. So, even though it went out from the day, you're still Mechuyiv to, to bring it, right? Uh, yeah, so it's true. No, so we say, no, we need it. Sagadat, I mean, Ahoyal, but Chas Rachman Ale, Lasuye, Bedalus, the Laila Nami, Lasi, Kamash Mla, and that it's not. So, so here the Gemara is saying it's it you need it you would have think that since the Torah is rachas rachman like let's say bedalus what does it mean bedalus poor meaning if somebody's poor right he gets to bring uh, what is it called he brings two birds instead right 
So it's, there's different levels. For these carbonos, you if you're poor, you only have to bring two birds. So the Gemara is thinking, well, maybe since the, the Torah has Rachmanus by this carbon specifically, I mean, there's other carbonos too, but by, by this is one of them, that you a poor person has an easier way out. So then, Memela, you should also allow it to be brought at night. So Mashmalon, that you can't bring it at night. So that's why you need a special Pasuk to tell you by, uh, from the Chusr Kapara that you need to do it at night uh, during the day, and therefore you don't have it available to tell you that it's Daicha Shabbos. The Maschal Ravina, Elamiyati, Yeh Zor Kosher Ben, Yeh Oynin Kosher Ben. If you say that the Chusr Kapara don't have all the same standards as other Kabbalists, then a stranger, meaning a Yisrael, should be able to be Makrovit. The Yeh Oynin Kosher Ben, and a Oynin, somebody who is waiting to bury a one of the close relatives, should also be kosher. So the Gemara answers, oh, Hadre Kro, the Pasuk, no, the Pasuk goes back to say, the, 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 the Pasuk puts it back in regular Kabonis, right? For a Psal Laila, the Sibu will be Yoim, the Kibon and the Laila, Tyrus called, since, since you can no longer bring it at night, therefore it gets back the regular status of all different Kabonis, and therefore um, it gets back its status. How yeah. will Zar be able to bring the bird as the carbon? No. Are they done with Malika on the Mizbeach? Aren't they what? Sakrabe. Yeah. It's not like Chita, you get a long knife. No, we would make it a special The birds are make the, the, the Malika. Right? What? We, for here, we would allow it, yes. That's why that's I understand. How? It. We allow Zara to go off of the Mizbeach? That's a. No. Wow. How? What? what I'm saying, I don't know. I mean, they normally okay. they're puzzle, and now the Gemara they normally they're puzzle. Avada, they're big, they're puzzle, and now for this they're really they're puzzle. Here it's an issue. No, but the, it's not gonna. It, it's not gonna be. It's not gonna be applicable for this. Uh huh. Okay. Um. Well, okay, uh, yeah, I mean, there's a different kasha. Okay, well, let's, there's a different kasha because it says it by these parshias. It says that the koyin has to be makarit. The hikri koyin, whatever the lotion is. That's already, uh, right, so that's a kasha. So what are you saying? Right? Okay, whatever it is. But uh, I have a, I have a, uh, I don't know where my father's a got this from, but I have a Kabbalah from him. When the, when the Gemara is darshaning drushes and psukim, you got to just take it with a grain of salt because it comes and goes. It's very difficult to understand why sometimes the, sometimes yeah, that's why we can't question Torah she, Shabbat Peh, right? Anyways, I use it as a cop-out. That's the bottom line. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, so that's his job. You're supposed to have that. There you go, Avada. Avada. Um, who are we up to? By the way, separate question. Why do we always say Deich Shabbos? Why can't we just say we're putter? Why in Shabbos do we say Deich Shabbos? It's an important question for a Hatzala guy. Exactly. <laughs> um, because, what do you mean? It's, Shabbos is, is a major oh, thing. anything else, you, know, you don't say Deich uh, murder, I'm saying, I'm saying it, it, well, either putter. Or... No, because here we're saying that you're, you push away Shabbos. We're telling you to be Mechal Shabbos. We're telling you push away Shabbos. Why can't we just say, okay, you do on Shabbos, but you're putter from any punishment? No, because, you, because you're only, yeah, of course you're putter. But we're no, telling but you, with, yeah. no, because here we're telling you to go do it. We're saying, push away Shabbos. Uh, I was saying, saying uh, the guy saying, push away Shabbos. It doesn't, right. where this has got a higher priority. No, I'm familiar Shabbos. with the mutter. concept. I just never knew why in Shabbos to no, only so really mutter, when, you, so when you're saying something mutter on Shabbos, that's because there's nothing wrong with it. That's not called a chil Shabbos. Here we're saying, Give a bris on Shabbos, which is a chil Shabbos, which you're going to see on Amud Beis. It's a but chil it's like, Shabbos. This is not there. But we're saying push it correct. We're saying we'll push it away. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, Ravacha Bar Yaakov, right? Five lines, six thin lines up from the, from the wide lines. Ravacha Bar Yaakov, Omar, Omar Akros, Shmini, Shmini, Afilu B'Shabbos. It says Shmini. So, we learn now from the Pusik, the eighth day, the eighth day, even if it falls on a Shabbos. Hai Shmini, we boil the Mute Shvi. What do you mean? It says the reason why you need it, it says in the Torah, 
bris is on the eighth day to tell you not to do it on the seventh day. Shvi mi ben shmoinas yomim nafkav. Shvi, we learn it out from from ben shmoinas yomim. Vakatim b'lechad l'mute shvi, v'chad l'mute chi. No, so we need each one of these tzukim one to tell you not to do the bris on the seventh day, and not to do the bris on the ninth day, only on the eighth on the eighth day. Imichad hava min shvi hu d'loy matas mane. Because if it was from one, I would have thought that shvi. Um, you can't what, do, what, do. What is uh, this? What is this? So, what, you have nine sukkim. We have to eliminate the day the baby's born, then the second day, then the third day, then the fourth day, then the fifth day. What, what does that mean? I'm, do I you have? I'm saying, do you have to, or is it enough to just do? I don't know. Why, why you tell? Why do I need a puzzle? Tell me, I can't do seven. I have to do eight. That's all. What? What? If you tell me I need I'm a puzzle. Do eight. Seven. I'm saying, if you say that you don't do it on seven, is it a kol shikain that you don't do it on six? No. Why? You mean Dafka seven? I don't know. Okay. How can you? It's see, Yaka, Why did you say you can't do it on nine? You definitely can't do it on seven. No, maybe you don't do it later. Right. Okay. I no, hear you have to do it eight, 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 and not nine, and for sure not seven. Right. Okay. I hear. I hear. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so but whatever they the Gemara is saying, the Imichad Hava mina Shvi who deloy matas mane. Seventh day, it didn't. It's not yet the eighth day. Up Mishmini veelechs mane who? Hello, right? So I mean, this is the opposite of your kasha. You were saying say nine, and I don't have to say seven. The Gemara is going the other way around, right? Seven, I understand. It didn't re yet reach eight. Reach eight, but nine maybe. They're also two different. Right, that's the kasha yeah. I'm asking. It's the opposite. Why don't you you're say you're that Russia is on nine? Yeah. Right. The you're Gemara is saying I, would, I wouldn't know nine, but I'm saying Darshan is for nine. He right. sure knows right. seven is not. Fair enough. Fair enough. No, it's two completely different drushes. The drusha that says not on nine means that the mitzvah is on the eighth. The dafka, don't wait till the ninth. The drusha telling not seven means if he did a bris on seven, he got to do another bris. It didn't work. Right. So what's the? There's no connection here. You need. No, to. I'm saying, but he's asking. Maybe you only need one limut. If you tell me not the ninth, that means that don't wait till the ninth. That means don't do it on the seventh. You should wait till the eighth. But if you did it on the ninth, would it be a good bris? Yeah. So if you did it on the seventh, it would be a good bris. I mean, so, so tell me not to do it on the seventh. That's two different rushes. Okay. Completely different Aye. rushes. Okay. So hello. Okay. Very good. Elo machbarto kid Rabbi Yochanan. We say it's like Rabbi Yochanan, right? Now this is I found this to be very interesting. So here it says, okay, machbarto means it's clear that we 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 slug up Rabbi Acher by Yaakov's pshat, right? And we're learning out from Rabbi Yochanan, which is that we learn it out from uh, what do you call it? Ois and bris and dairis, right? So now we slug up. Uh, we slugged up Rav Acha Bayakov. Then the Gemara says in the next line, Tani Kavasei to Rav Yochanan, the like Rav Acha Bayakov. We have a price like Rav Yochanan, not like Rav Acha Bayakov. I thought we just eliminated Rav Acha Bayakov. Right? Elamai must be that Machvarta doesn't mean we're slugging it up. It just means it seems clear that we go, it seems clear like Rav Yochanan, but it doesn't mean Rav Acha Bayakov is slugged up, even though we seemingly did slug him up. Okay. What about Tsuyakov? What about the Gzeir of uh, of the, of all three? So uh, maybe the Gemara is saying Lafuke that. Well, that's what we're saying. But saying but no, I mean, saying, we didn't slug up the, the first one, the Gzeir of all three words together. No, we did not slug it up. No, we only. So the Gemara is saying Kanye Kavase Derbi Yechon Lafuke that Chita. I understand, but we said uh, we already said Machvar to like Rabbi Yechon. Maybe that's only Lafuke or Nachem Yaakov. Right, but now he's saying we're not we're looking to say a price like we don't like Ravakha Yaku. Right? So Tanya Kama said that we're gonna like Ravakha Yaku. Shmini Yimal, on the eighth day you do the bris, Afilu Bashabas, even on Shabbos. Amani Mikhaim Machala Mazumas. Oh, but it says in the Pasik, if you machal Shabbos, you die. So we say Bashar Malachas, puts me Mila. Do we say that that's referring to other Malachas except for Mila? Again, you have two so it's important to understand in order to understand the Gemara's drushes now. There's two psokin, right? Um, it says Shmini Yimol that you that you go on, you give a bris on the eighth day, but it also says if you machal Shabbos you die. So we have two ways of doing it. Either we say that the machal is going on all the other malachas, 
it's not going on bris. That's the one side, right? you must bashar malachas with mila. That's going on other malachas except for mila. Or do we say no? Even mila is you're not allowed to do. Umani mekayim shmini yimo chutz mi shabbos. And the way I'm going to dash it out that you give a bris on the eighth, it means not on, not on shabbos. Tamaloymar b'yoyim afilu b'shabbos. So then that's why it says the word yoyim that even on shabbos. So clearly, um, yeah. It just hit me. I'm sorry to bother you, but it's just mom is strange now. The person normal usually who does the bris on Shabbos, he wasn't. He didn't have a tzivui. He's a shliach of somebody who had a tzivui. He's just a shliach. It's it's very strange. We let a shliach be mechal Shabbos. He's not doing the mitzvah. Well, he's doing it on behalf of the other person. Okay, but I'm just saying. It's to me. I just hit me now. It seems strange. That's all. I could be. I'm just. It's a thought I just had. I mean, okay. No, that's, the kiddush, that's what I mean. Uh, okay. It's just very strange. Uh, you're right. Just, I'm, I'm agreeing doing, with you. He's doing a miser. Doing a miser. That's 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 a chi of misa. Yes. 100. That is the kiddush. Shleif shaladu kamaisa. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You're right. Because Yenem didn't Yen, Yenem didn't have the guts to learn hilchus mila and he went mal his own son. <laughs> Yes. Hey, I did three times. Gashi, Gashi. Gashi, we don't yeah. say we don't say it by Shab we don't say by Tfillin. What? It's a mitzvah's hard golf. It has good, the Shabbos is also the goal. What? You doing you doing Shabbos, you're doing I, No, you're, you're talking about that, different things. Mila he's talking about, not Shabbos. I understand. Mila I understand, but Sh- Mila so my shver is asking, what do you mean? A, a, a guy, a, 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 a mayo, who doesn't have the chiv, right? Some things, it doesn't work. It's more, it's I'm agreeing with him. I'm agreeing with him 100%. I'm just saying, you see how great the chiddush of Shalit Shalad the Kamaisa is. That is oh, what, what when the Mishnah he, said. Why is he allowed to do it? Because well, is the father allowed to do it? Because Shliach. But the, the Gemara does say yeah, Shliach 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 doesn't work like Davar Vera. Right? Listen, even if the father, if the father wasn't want, doesn't want to be mal, so Bezin's going to be mal, right? So who, meaning there's a there's the the Mila is Daicha Shabbos regardless of who does it. That's what comes out. That's what you say. That is it's whoever does it, right? I don't know if yes. that's built into the Chiddush of Shliach Shliach Shliach. That is a good kasha. We don't say Ladvar Vera Shliach Shliach why, right. why, this is a Dvar why, Mitzvah, not a Dvar Avera. Why is the there is, a, there is a there is a component of Avera here if you're being Mechal Shabbos. No, the Shlichus is not to be over Shabbos. The Shlichus is to do Mila. But the inherently, the Shlichus is to be over Shabbos. Shabbos. So you're asking yeah. if there's an if there's a if that's, there's that's, a, a, that's a, part what's of the a, question he's asking. Okay, let's go by to yeah. What's Myra, the answer? It's Myra. What's the answer? <laughs> What do I mean? That's that's what we say. That's it, that's anybody. The mila is doicha the shabbat regardless of who does it. That's what you have to say. No. It's yeah, but that's a chiddush in mila. It's not a chiddush in shulchan aruch adam kamei. No, it's a chiddush. No, I know you're right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So now the gemara. Now this next gemara is not hard, but it just can dray you around a little bit. So Omar Rava, I tanami karamai kanichalei ul besayf my kashule. What was what what was easy for him in the beginning? What did he assume? What was his assumption? And then what was his kasha? Okay, cover. This is what we say. Shmini Yimol Afil Bachalas. It says you give a bris on the eighth day, it's even on Shabbos. Umani Mekai Mechala Mosyuma. So what does it say if you machal Shabbos you die? The Shar Malachas Kutzmi Mila. That's talking about other malachas except for Mila. Okay, so far so good. Ava Mila Dachya, but Mila is gonna be Daicha. My time, Kavachaymeru, it's a Kavachaymer. Umat Saras, Shadoich is Havaido. Saras is the Havaido, meaning if a coin has Saras, he's not allowed to work in the base of Mikdash, right? We just got to make sure we follow the, the, the order here. A coin has Saras, he's not allowed to work in the base of Mikdash. That means that Saras is more important than doing the Havaido in the base of Mikdash, right? That's step one. But Havaido, Doich is a Shabbos. But a coin doing the Havaido is Doich Shabbos, at least for Karbonus. So that means. That Saras is going to be what? Again, if Saras does not doich avoida and avoida is doich Shabbos, so that means that so far Saras is very important. Right? Mila doich but Mila is doich Saras. 
Okay, because meaning if on the on the orla on the foreskin, if the baby has a tzaras or whoever has a tzaras, there's an iser to cut off tzaras. So what happens if on the mila is tzaras? Are you allowed to do the bris? Right, you're going to be doing a lav. You're cutting off tzaras. So that is doicha. We're going to learn later on in the Amr that that is doicha. You cut off the you cut off the mila even though you're cutting off tzaras. So that means that bris is more important than tzaras. Which is more important than doing the avodah in the base of mikdash, which is more important than Shabbos. So Shabbos and Nitzvos may avodah and it didn't take milu doichesa. So Shabbos, which is pushed away because of avodah, of course it should be pushed away because of the milu, right? It it just goes, it just falls in in line again. Saras, Saras is doicha working in the base of mikdash. Working in the base of mikdash is doicha Shabbos. So now if bris is doicha Shabbos. So that means bris is the most choshev of all of them, right? And therefore, therefore, it's going to, you're, you're Michal Shabbos. Umay, so that's what the Gemara assumed. Then the, so then what was the, so what was, why was the Gemara questioning itself? Umay o'yeinoi, the Ka'amar, what is it that you said, or maybe it's not like that. Hadar Amar, we might the Tzaras Chambura, who says Tzaras is more Chambura, Dilma Shabbos Chambura, Shekein Yesh Ba'enshin, Ba'azhar is Harvey. Maybe Shabbos is stricter because it has a lot of punishments and a lot of warnings and a whole lot of halacha. Then Gemara says, "Im umimai." That's a whole controversy whether you say inami or not. Umimai mishum the chamira tzarasi, and who says that tzaras is chamer? Dilma mishum gavrahu the loy chazi. Meaning, maybe it's not the tzaras that is more important than the avoda v'esemikdash. The person who has tzaras can't do the avoda. There's nothing special about the tzaras. Just the guy came into the base of Victor, they, they tested him. Hey, you got Saras, you can't come in, right? So you got to quarantine for two weeks, right? How many people said about that, right? So you, you quarantine and then you come back. Well, quarantine for a week. And then you come back and then you can do it. So it wasn't shot that Saras is the The person has Saras, he can't do it. Uman, it's a meaning, so now we're turning the tables. So we're saying everything that we thought was Muhammad, it's not. Umani Mikai Shmini Yimo. So if that's the case, what am I going to say with the eighth day Yimo? Chutz Mi Shabbos. So then we say, no, it says, Yoyim, so it means even on Shabbos. So that's what the Gemara was thinking before, and that's what the Gemara was thinking afterwards. And then the Maskana Sadvarim is that the Yoyim, or Philip Shabbos, tells you that that's why you, uh, that, that's, a, that's like, and that's like Rabbi Yoichanan, that that's why we do a Mila on Shabbos, because it says, Be Yoyim. Tonarabana, Mila doicha satsaras, bein bezmana, bein shaloi bezmana. Mila's doicha tsaras, whether the Mila's at the right time or not at the right time. Meaning, let's say the Mila, let's say the baby was yellow for um, two, two, three, four weeks. Then it develops Tsaras. So you, would, you still knock off, even though the bris is not Bisman, so you would think, okay, why should I be either on Tsaras? Let me wait another week, right? We already pushed off the bris by two weeks, for example, right? Now he has Tsaras. So why should we either on the Isra Daraisa of cutting off Tsaras? I'll wait another week till the Tsaras goes away, and then I'll, and then I'll do the bris. So no, that's not the din. The din is any time you're ready to do the mila, it's doichet saras, whether the mila is on time, whether it's not on time. Yom tif ain't a doichet ela bizman abavad. Yom tif is like Shabbos. You're not, you don't make a bris on yom tif unless it's in the exact time. You know, on the mila, how do you know this? Ton of on a yimu basar alasai. You do a mila on the basar of his orla. Avu bavvi sheyeshon baheres. Yokuts. Even though there is a baheres, that's saras, you still have to cut it off. Amna amani makayim hishomer benegat saras. What are you going to do with the pasuk that says you should be careful with the negat saras not to cut it off? We're going to say b'shar mekayim is chutz mila. It's on other places other than the bris. Oy einoi. Now this is the exact same going that we just had. Or maybe it's the opposite. Oy einoi. Ela afila mi mila. Even mila, you don't cut it off. You don't cut off the saras. So mani mekayim yivo b'sar alos. So what are you going to do with the pasuk of you should give a mila of the b'sar alos? So it's man sheim b'beres. That's talking about when there's no saras on the foreskin. Um, it says, therefore, the Pasuk says, Basar, even though there is a Baharis. So now we have the same exact amount. What was this kind of thing in the beginning? What was the question? And then what was the Maskana? We thought, says in the Pasuk, do a Mila on the Basar as Arlov. So that's teaching us, even though there's Tsaras on the foreskin, you cut it off. Even though that's Asar. Normally, Umani Mikami Shomer Benegat Tsaras. What am I going to do with be careful with touching Tsaras? Bishar Mikami Sputz Mimila. That's going on other places of the body except for the bris. Avamila, 
my time at Asi Mikal Vachomer, but Mila is going to be Doichet Saras and we learn out from Mikal Vachomer. Oh, Mas Shabbos Chamura. Mila Doichet so Shabbos is very strict. Mila is Doichet Shabbos. Saras like Kol Shagin Saras is not as strict as Shabbos, so of course it's going to push away Saras to make a bris. Fine. So that's what the Gemara thought. Of the See, Asa, this is a funny thing. The Gemara is it's only based on the fact that we already know the Din from Biyayim. Meaning each Mikal Vachomer is based on the fact that we already came to the Maskana. Correct. So you're saying that Smash and the Gemara that already learned the Gemara. Well, the truth is that is the order. Each Gemara knew the other Gemara, uh, Gemara. Otherwise, we're very, very good. Very good. Part. But that, right, that is the order of the Gemara. It seems like the Limud for that's what Akiva is saying is that the Limud for Shabbos seems to have come before the Limud of the Tzaras. Right. But it goes good. both ways. It True. goes both ways. Right. Say, if you flip it the other way, it's a problem also. Yeah. No, you're right. Yeah, that's a good point. So, what was the I ain't? I mean, why did the Gemara doubt itself? Other Kamar. This is what it went to sit back and say. Mimai the Shabbos Chamira. Who says Shabbos is more strict? Dilma Tzaras Chamira. She came to Eichas Avoida. Maybe Tzaras is stricter because the bottom line is if a Kayan has Tzaras, he can't do the Avoida. But Avoida Daichas a Shabbos and Avoida is Daichas Shabbos. So maybe Tzaras is stricter than Shabbos. Tamalaymer. Bosser. So it comes to tell you, Bosser. Bavavisha Yesham Beheres. Even though there's a Beheres. Fine. That's the way. That was the two thoughts of the Gemara. And that was the Maskanas of the world. Lishna Achrina, another Lushan, same, so we're going to have the same end result, just a little different way of going about it. Mila Doichas at Saras, my timer. Mila's Doichas at Saras, why? Now, this is an extremely yeshivish sugya right here. I don't know what the other sugyas are not, but Rebbe Lezad the Mila of any of the Prokim and Shabbos um, is, this is up there. So this is one of the Gemaras, yeah? Lishna Achrina, Mila Doichas at Saras, my timer. Mila's doichet zaras my timer. The asi asay v'dachi loisa say the mitzvah asay of mila is doichet loisa say of zaras. Right? Well, my ay ain't the kamar. What is in the? What was the ay ain't? Other kamar aimer the amina the asi asay v'dachis loisa say loisa say greda. That's only when it's just the loisa say by itself. Hi asay v'loisa say. Here it's an asay being doichet and asay and a loisa say. So basically, even if you say the assay is doichet eloisa say, you still have an assay left over, and that's not being pushed away. So then, what am I going to do with the pasuk that you give you do a meal on the basar of his arlov? It's man she'ain babaheres. That's when it doesn't have a tzaras, and if it would have a tzaras, then you want to do the meal. That's what's coming to tell you basar. Even though it has a tzaras, God of the ksiba basar. Uh, what's that? Tina, I'm sorry, I skipped the word. It's a Tina, Godol, that's good by an adult. You by a, by being mal, somebody over 13, it says the word Bosser. Um, and a Katan, it also says the word Bosser. But Bainani, Minolan, a guy in between, meaning somebody over eight days old, till Bar Mitzvah, who didn't do a bris. You didn't do the bris for whatever reason by eight days, right? Can, where do we know, where do we know that that guy could cut off the tzaras? Is this, is this differentiation between when he's eight days old, because the father has the mitzvah, but when he's a goggle, he has the mitzvah, in between the bezdin has the mitzvah? I, you think that's the longest? I'm asking, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't, I didn't learn it. I mean, the father has the mitzvah. If the father doesn't do it. <laughs> yeah, but he already, he already dropped his mitzvah. Bezdin is supposed to take over and push him or I whatever. Maybe he was in Cleveland the eighth day. He couldn't get out of Cleveland. <laughs> okay, so then whose mitzvah is it? Okay, but either way, it's an interesting thing because we, we're sandwiched in. We got busser by the eighth day, and we have busser by over bar mitzvah. We just don't have a busser in the middle guy, right? So, how do you know how, how do you know in the middle that you're allowed to cut off tzaras? Rabbi, you ask me, it's interesting lush, and that means you're learning it out from both, from between both of them. From a godo, you can't learn it out because a godo, if he doesn't do a bris, is going to be chayv karas. So therefore, avadi, you want him to cut off the tzaras, get it right? You don't want him to be chayv karas any longer. You can't learn it out from a cotton because that's the eighth day is the proper time, right? Anything after the eighth day is not the proper time. What is the common denominator? That they have a meal in the Doich Tzaras. So, so too, any case, every other case, meaning from after eight, from nine days till Bar Mitzvah is also going to be Doich.
Rav Amar Mila Bismana Doicha Loi Tzricha Kra. Mila Bismana is Doicha. So you don't need a pasuk. The Kavachaymer asks you. We learn out from Kavachaymer. Rama Shabbos the Chamira. Shabbos which is strict. Doicha. Um, a your bris is doicha Shabbos. Taras like Kol Shepein. So Taras goes without him for sure. Um, Rale Rav Savra the Rav. We made the Shabbos Chamira. Who says Shabbos is more Chamer? Dilma Taras Chamira. Shekain Doicha Zavoida. Right? Who says Taras is doicha Avoida? Avoida doicha is Shabbos. And and uh, and Avoida is doicha Shabbos. So who says that? Saras, who says Shabbos is stricter than Saras? So you say also Lam Bashum the Chamira Saras, Lam Bashum the Gavru who the Loi Chazik, right? So there, like we said before, that there it's not that Saras is more Chamor. The person is not is not eligible to do the Kayan who has Saras is not eligible. It doesn't mean that there's anything more strict about Saras, right? Am I the Yikutz Barasa Viyavur Mechusat Tefila Viyavur Viyavur um, how you read this here? Right? Why don't you just cut off, just let him cut off his uh, um, Tsaras and do the Avoid? I mean, just like we're saying, to do the bris, cut off the Tsaras and do the bris. Good, so cut off the Tsaras and let the coin work. Meaning, if you're correct, that it's stricter, right? So that's the chosut who still has to go to the mikvah, so it's not going to help. Meaning you're going to cut off the tzaras. You have to cut off the tzaras at the same exact time he's going to do the avoid, but that's not going to happen. He's going to cut off the tzaras, then he's going to have to go to the mikvah. So then he's cut off the tzaras for no reason then. So the Gemara says, Tinach, the going to maim. That's only by tzaras that are tomei. The going to hire ma'ikil maim. But what about in the ginegar that's tar? Not all tzaras is tomei. Some are tar. So maybe there you should be able to cut it off. El Amar Ravashi, Hebel Amrinan, Okay, here we go. This is a very big klal in Esay Doichel Oisasei. Heche Amrina Doasi Esay Vedoichel Oisasei can go in Mila Vetsaras. Right? When are we going to say an Esay Doichel Oisasei? That's by Mila pushing off Tsaras. Inami Tzitzis Uklayim. Right? We know that by Tzitzis, you're allowed to have shotness on your Tzitzis. Right? Why? Because it's Esay, the Mitzvah's Esay of Tzitzis is Doichel Oisasei of wearing shotness. The Be'idna de Misakar Lav Kamoikim Asay. At the exact same time that you're being over on the lav, you're getting the mitzvahs to say. Meaning, when you do the mila, the second you cut off the tzaras, you're getting the mitzvah of, of somebody who's having a mila. Then when you're wearing um, shotness, tzitzis of shotness, you're the, the second that you're being makayim, you're, that you're doing the avera of shotness, you're getting the mitzvah of tzitzis. Right? But here, achav in the masakar lalav, like a makam masay. But the time that you're doing the lav, I mean, theoretically, if a kayan had saras, he would cut off his saras, and then he would go do the avoid it, if not at the same time. That's not essay doich say. Again, essay is only doich say if the, if the mitzvah say happens at the same time that you're doing your your mitzvah, right? But that's not going to happen here for the avoid because first he has to cut off saras, then he has to go bring the carbon. It's not at the same time. Yeah, and this. Of Rav and Rav Sava is a machlekes tanoim. Tanya Bosor says Bosor Rav Pishiyeh Shom Beheres Yimo. Bosor, even though there is a tzaras there, you still do the mila. Diver of Yosher. Rav Yonis and Oimer, ain't no tzarich. You don't need it. Shabbos Chamuru Daicha Tzaras like Kol Shekain. If Shabbos which is Chamur is Daicha Tzaras for sure. So therefore, that same machlekes how we learn out that a mila is Daicha Tzaras is the same is a machlekes tanoim. Okay. Wow, we actually got the cook. We got not to give him a lot of look at that. Okay, and I'm only four Beautiful, minutes late for the theoretical Myra. Exactly. What time, exactly. What, time, what time are you stopping? So we're doing five to six, they said. Five to five. six, yes? Five to six? Fine. Does anybody have AT&T service here? Anybody on this thing? Anybody on this Chabura have AT&T service? Everybody? I do, sorry. Huh? I do. I have AT&T. Yeah, what? I have AT&T. The ones with AT and T are embarrassed to say they have AT and T. That's the answer. <laughs> Who's got AT and T? Uh, Harold. I have T Mobile. Harold, you have AT and T. You have T Mobile. I do. No, the thing is, like, AT and T has better service in the upstate. I'm going upstate this week. <laughs> Whatever, land the next week, and I have a I have an iPad that can take service from AT and T. Problem is, I don't have an AT and T account. You have like, any, you have any room to add on a a, a thing to your account? 
I, it's a business account. I think I have like a bunch of lines. So it's possible. Yeah, How do I look it up? I have no idea. 